Many schools are finding ways to bring 21st century skills into the classroom with devices for every student, an initiative called one-to-one -one computing. Well, the one-to-one -one initiative is putting in the hands of all of our high school students a laptop computer that they can use um, in the classroom and at home for educational purposes. Schools across the U.S. are moving to one-to-one -to -one computing for a variety of reasons as Principal Tom Chambers was one of the few people who decided to make this change. Uh, this is something that is part of society, it's part of business. Um, the technology that uh, technologies that we're teaching here are technologies that students are going to encounter when they get out into the workforce, when they're at the universities, and so we want them to be prepared for that. Teachers now need to adapt their classroom and teaching to the initiative. Brad Lobenstein and Mary Burns are used to the traditional way of teaching and now need to learn. My one-to-one -one classroom looks like a mixture of a traditional classroom and a computer lab based classroom. I have um, my students do a variety of activities from online research to um, collaborating with each other electronically. My teaching is it's similar in some ways, but different in other ways. It, uh, I do a lot of, a lot more activities where the students are responsible for giving themselves their background knowledge. I would say that my teaching hasn't changed a lot because of the one-to-one, -one, just because I've been fortunate enough to work in a classroom that has computers. However, um, I would say that as a whole, the um, I would say the teaching for all of our um, staff here at the school has changed because now they also have the availability of laptop computers. Because teachers have adapted their teaching styles, learning for students such as senior Emily Ward has changed. I think that it has improved just because I'm a lot more organized now than when I had actual paper and I lose it all the time. As the one-to-one -one program has been developing throughout the year, advantages and disadvantages have appeared. I think there are a lot of advantages to it, actually. Uh, first, it, it gives kids the skills and technology that they need for the 21st century. It helps them to understand how to use different resources to access information, uh, and it gives them it gives the teachers the ability to differentiate their instruction so that if they have students who are real strong they can be working on specific things while the other students are working on other things and uh, they can target the the needs and the the abilities of students uh, where they're at and help them to to learn better well, some some of the issues that have come up uh, throughout this first of all it was a huge uh, effort to get all of the computers to decide on uh, on the right computer um, should we go with Apple? Should we go with PCs? Should we go with Chromebooks? Uh, so we spent a lot of time uh, and uh, well over a year researching, uh, visiting schools and, and deciding on just what uh, equipment to get and then we had to train the teachers. At the Black River Falls High School in Wisconsin, students are taking the lead by forming a tech group to help with issues caused by the computers. A group of students who assist teachers and other students with um, technology issues. So we help with um, maybe understanding Google Drive, um, helping students organize their files, helping them find files, upload files, download files. My job in the tech team is to pretty much help like any student that I can that's having a problem with the internet or Google or helping teachers set up folders for their classes. With many schools trying to find ways to enhance education, going to the one-to-one -one initiative is a solution. I would say if they can afford to, that they should. It's just that technology is the future. This is an ongoing process. It doesn't happen overnight. Even though there have been problems, teachers still see the benefits in the long run.